Hey what's up guys, Chaos Theory here and in this video I want to show you a couple of tricks. Um if you guys know what portal jumping is, um I'm planning on showing you how to do it. Um Doombox made a video on it and um I gotta say this um has a little bit of a correlation to running and um if you practice this it'll help your running a little bit in some areas, um mainly um, ones where you have to click on a foe and then hard a shadow up at ridge or um, stuff like that. Uh, this helps a lot for that. So um, the first one I'm going to show you is of um, Lion's Arch, uh, just outside North Krita Province. Um, the reason why I like this one is because you do not need a hero for this. So you uh, click on Lion Scout Gabrion go about um, here you do not want to touch the portal um, I'll also show you how portals work so you you'll know what to do anyway so once you line it up heart of shadow and you are behind lion's arch and when you go through here you will see the end what they call I don't even know what they call it. I think they call it the end of the world or something like that anyway so this is just blank space that hasn't been rendered by the current um, zone you're in and it's not usually rendered um, so this is kinda cool to see um, it's just well in this zone it's um water um, it's just water here um, in other zones, like in Ascalon zones, it's like a huge, like, perp or red haze. Um, it just depends on the area you're in. Um, they use this as the background to just, um, kind of decorate the top and the bottom and everything. So, yeah. So that's how you do it. Um, if you need to get back, I forgot to bring a ally step. Um, you should put in a, like... Uh, Ebon Escape or something like that. Um, so this one is pretty easy. Um, so portals work. How portals work. Um, there's a specific spot you need to be in. A specific coordinate. And if you touch that coordinate, you will zone into the instance. So that's how portals work. Because um, once you touch that instant, that um, coordinate, it'll zone you to the next area. Um, so the way that um the coordinates work so our portals work um it could be just this little box area like the portal basically or it can be a huge vast distance throughout here and if you just touch the area you'll zone in um this one's just a portal like a lot of um <clears throat> portals in uh prophecies because they didn't really use it a lot so as you saw I didn't touch the portal but I went through and zoned anyways that's because I touched the proper coordinates now I'm going to show you one that is very hard to do um, it's in Kynang Sanger you start in Kynang um, you're going to need a hero for this um, and this is really nice if you have not beaten pa factions because as you know um, to be able to uh, get to um, Imperial Sec Sanctum and map all this out for Cartographer, you need to beat the entire game, which requires you to go all the way down through all these missions, and then through this to there, and then you finally get uh, into the area here. So this allows you to map pretty much the entire area including Divine Path, Rizu Palace, I think Imperial Sanctum, I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see. And, um, so this is a great way to get your Cartographer's title. So, let me just show you, you're go like I said, you're going to need a hero for this. And I'm going to bring Ebon Escape right here. Um, yeah. There we go. Oh, and I'm going to bring, uh, Viper's Defense because I'm not going to need a faux step for this.
All right. Ah, oh, stop barking at me. All right. So, um, normally this would be closed. For me, it's open because I've beaten the campaign. But um, when it's closed, you could go into it. But um, I don't want to. So this one's very tricky because this is one of the ones where um, the coordinates just go all the way out. Um, so you can't shadow step through the portal. You have to go around it. And um, if you shadow step like here to there, you'll hit the coordinates. Um, up to there, you'll hit the coordinates. The only way you'll be able to do it, and if you do it too far, you won't be able to go through because it's a wall. So the only way to do it is to get a perfect diagonal point, and you'll zone over there. So the way you do it with a hero is um, normally when you tell a hero to flag, it'll go there, but then it'll move a little bit like that. Um, that's not good. So you need to select your hero get the um, proper area get that ready and once you got it ready um, let's see I'm gonna hit it right there a little bit more yeah All right right there and then while they're walking to that point use the shadow step like that I did it first try so yeah and I'll just show you this really quick um, uh, so I'm just going to touch these coordinates right here. See how far that area went? I mean, um, because of that, that one's a hard one to do. So don't feel bad if you mess it up. So let's do that again. So I can show you um, how far this reaches. I can show you the possible um, uses for this. So... There we go. And run out to Bartonia. Ready, set, a go. Alright. So now just go through, make sure you don't hit the coordinates. There you go. And now you're home free. Um, you shouldn't need your hero, but if you want to, just unflag it. And it'll come to you. It. Or well, whatever. You can go through all the gates. Um. Just think of it as a, um, when you know if you go through the mission, you know how you can knock down um, stuff to f speed up your time and everything. Think of everything um, as done. All the gates are open, even if they look closed. And in uh, example for this bridge, uh, you know how, um, I forget which character knocks us down to make a bridge. Um, even though it's still up, the bridge is still there. So you'll be able to go through the fence. And then you'll walk on the invisible bridge. And you will go through. And you can zone. Look over there. And you can look over there. And, um. Um, I forget if it's this door. No, it's not this door. We have to go up more. So, yeah. Uh, this can be kind of boring. So I'll speed this up, probably. So, um, you, you, so yeah, this is pretty fun to do. Um, just to kill time or something. Um, I'm also making this video. I'm probably I'm gonna make a few announcements actually right now. Um, I know I haven't been making as many videos as I should um, uh, for reasons because of school and everything. Um, I haven't completely given up on it. As you see, um, I made a promo video, I guess you can call it, for my guild, um, I, it, which showed me um, doing uh, remains. Oh, that's a Zen garden. So dope. I want to make a Zen garden. Anyways, um, <coughs> uh, I made a promo video of me um, running from the Gate of Desolation to Remains going through the Sulfurous Wastes. Um, 
I know that runs um, not as amazing as it used to be because a lot of people can do it now, but um, yeah, I still did it. Um, what else? So yeah, I'm going to be making, still making videos. Um, I'm going to be continuing my um, Guild Wars Lex play on my Necro. Um, by the way, I did get a, I had the North Tour on him, so we don't have to be running everywhere, which would take a lot of time. Um, so, I'm still going to be doing that. Um, I'm planning on making a couple more basic, um, couple more guides on, uh, Guild Wars running. Um, they're not going to be running certain instances, except maybe, um, doing, uh, the Luxon and Kurzik areas, Ekavald and Jade C. Um, because I've pretty much covered everything else except maybe like the jungle tour or something. Um, so um, these guides are going to be more general guides. Um, I'm going to be, like I said, I already made a general general guide. Um, but I'm planning on getting um, into more detail and more in-depth into certain areas. Um, such as um, quick aggroing and quick de-aggroing. Um, uh, shadow stepping and all the things you need to know about that because um, shadow stepping correctly and properly and knowing how to shadow step good um, there's a lot to that so um, I'm gonna try and get an in-depth analogy on that and show you how to do everything that pretty much all the pro runners can do like um, quick stepping or double stepping I call it double stepping uh, most people call it quick stepping um, and just getting into more in depth with each shadow, um, uh, shadow step, uh, and everything. So, yeah, I'll just get into in depth and all that. Um, I'm also making a dervish runner. Um, process has been slow. Um, trying to get it, him into speed booking a little bit so I can get him to rank 8 which you need to be able to have a permanent um, 50 or a permanent pious ace which um, has 50 uh, IMS which means increased movement speed I know I said instant in my uh, my general guide video I think I put an annotation on that um, yeah so yeah um, that's pretty much all my news right now um, another thing is that I do have a camera, have my iPod Touch, um, 4G, that I can use to take videos of me, if you think that I'll add any touches to my videos. I don't think it really will at this time, because I don't really have anything to show you, um, unless you want to see me, which I guess I'm cool with, um. Or maybe, like, we can do some stupid shit with my friends or something. Um, that's always popular on the internet. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much all I have planned right now. Uh, can I go through this door? No. Shit, fish. But, yeah, I got all the way to Imperial Sanctum. So, you can use this for a lot of things. Um, another thing you can do it like this is um, Granite Citadel. I'm not going to actually do it, but, um, one second. Alright, um, yeah, it has. Um, let's see. I zoned out. Okay, um, you start with the Granite Citadel, and then, um, you go into Tasca's Demise, and then you portal step through the, um, Tasca's demise portal to the Granite Citadel. Um, so yeah, um, and then you can go through this and you can map out all of Spirit Peak, which is pretty nice. And I think you can also get into Granite's footprint a little bit, and you can go into Copper Hammer Mines. Um, so yeah, I actually thought of something. Um, a lot of pro runners once they get to Camp Rancor, they uh, shadow their uh, heart of Shadow into Camp Rancor to be show offs because that's what runners do. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm going to show you that really quick and that'll probably end the video. 
so like I said, this was a really quick video. Actually, it probably wasn't, but um, this is just kind of updates and showing you some mediocre, nothing needed to know. So you don't need Acolyte, or you don't need a hero for this. Um, you want to select one of these two um, collectors, the Warblades. Uh, click one of them. I clicked on Hagnan. And then you want to go up to this rock, Rocky, make friends with the rock, and then Heart of Shadow up. And now you are in, and you can be, and you can pretend that, like, you're a pro runner, and just be cool, and stuff. So, yeah, so, quick update video, um, please rate, comp, subscribe, and favorite, and got a nice shot right there, have a nice day.